Hello, Victoria. This is your free reading. As I was sitting here quietly, Victoria, tuning in to you, um, I was feeling some immense, immense pressure here. Um, it was was very, very tense and constricted. I was seeing um, a square box filled with red, um, kind of a mouth flowing in the center of it, and surrounded by purple. So what I got from this was um, you're wanting to expand Okay, red to me was a survival, um, your base camp, your um, how you survive in the world. Uh, so what I was getting from this was you were struggling with how to communicate effectively your skills and what you can do to um, be able to have a steady income from your gifts, your connection with the spirit world, because you are extremely connected and you know that, but you are also experiencing frustration with how best to share this gift with others so that you can, you know, um, enjoy it more and, and just thrive instead of survive. And I'm getting that you're having a little problems communicating effectively to let people know of your gifts and your talents. Okay, that's what I, that's what came to me um, as I was just sitting here. So I'm going to um, use my psychic tarot oracle deck and pull three cards for you. You had written to me. Um, Victoria is a psychic medium as well. She's very, very connected. And um, she'd written to me saying she'd never had a tarot reading. So I am happy to do this for Victoria. see what we have. So, first card is a physical card, positive movement forward. So this tells me that some things have been shifting and working for you, okay? So you're just getting your, your, your flow going, so ease off some of the pressure and tension on yourself because it is starting to flow, okay? Maybe not as fast as you want it to, um, because there's other pressures going on and it's like well hurry up okay so um, probably financial pressures and that is to do with dealing with a lot of um, obstacles over the past year and not just your own obstacles um, family obstacles uh, I'm getting health issues as well so but things are starting to flow for you in your career and your um you're opening up that world and connecting with the people that you can best serve, okay? Next card, awareness. Well, this card usually comes forward to let us know that we need to be aware that we already have everything that we need. There is nothing missing. When we are focusing on we need this or we need something else or maybe we should do this, um, we are we're scattering ourselves and we're not trusting and we're not centered and we're not believing in our own true essence, our own true skills, our own powers and gifts that we really do have. So this card is telling you to pull back in and really, really trust and believe and know that you do have everything that you need. The universe has maybe been a little slower in opening up the, the flow for you, but there, there are reasons for that because there are certain other things that needed to be in place and you really needed to release some of your old um, fears 
and release some of those thoughts that have been holding you back and weighing heavy on your heart for quite some time. Okay, we've got to let go of those fears. All right, you are good enough. You do have everything you need. You are extremely talented, and um, you need to get back into amping yourself up and being on your own cheerleading team instead of beating yourself up and questioning everything that's wrong. Because when you focus on what's wrong, you're not noticing what is working. Okay, so this is the message that I'm getting from these two cards. Disruption. Okay, so as I said, there have been other things disrupting your life. There have been other issues, okay? But when we focus on the light and what does work, we can minimize what the disruption does to our world. And again, the universe has been lining some things up that you've been asking for for a long time. But all the pieces haven't fallen into place yet. So a little more patience and a little less pressure upon oneself. Okay? I know that's hard to do sometimes when you feel like the, the ship is sinking. Okay? And it's like the water's up to my knees. Um, how much longer do I have to have trust? <laughs> But um, you're not the only person who is going through that at this time. So try not to let the disruptions upheave your entire world because the more that you can go quietly inside and trust that things are working in your favor and lining up for you, the disruptions will not be so upheaving. But also in the same sense, some things do need to shift. Some things do need to be let go of. Stop holding on to those things that are not working anymore. Sometimes we have to stop trying to fix the, the leaky bucket and realize we need a new bucket. Okay? So, some things you've been putting a lot of effort into trying to make work that you need to let go of. Okay? And when we let go of those things and all of those fears, then the new things that we have been asking for can come through. But sometimes we are preventing them from coming through ourselves with our thoughts and our worries. Okay? This is the message that I came through for you today, Victoria. I apologize for taking so long to get this out to you. Um, my world was upheaved a little bit in the last few weeks. So, the numbers on the card are 8, 1, and 16. And uh, perhaps those mean specific significances for you. All right. Smiles to you, Victoria. Best of luck, and I know things are going to be shifting in a positive way for you. Just sit back, relax, and try not to um, put so much pressure on yourself. Smiles to you. It's me. Damn.